But if you go to settings, because we have the navigation module installed, we can't change the actual navigation options. So what we need to do is let's go ahead and just quickly uninstall the navigation module. And then up the top, you'll see that we do have the toolbar module and we have a nicely styled toolbar. But if you go to appearance and then settings, now you can go ahead and change a few options. So here you have legacy, you have the horizontal modern toolbar, which look, looks like this. And then you do have a gin specific sidebar navigation. And also you have the Drupal navigation example as well. But if we stick to the modern toolbar, you get the admin toolbar search if you have the admin toolbar module installed. And when you hover over the menu items, you can see all the child menus. And finally, the last module we took a look at is called Environment Indicator. Now, this allows you to highlight the toolbar depending on which environment you are on. So that means you won't accidentally be on production thinking it's staging or development and make changes to it. Now, setting this up does require a bit of configuration. You do need to set variables in your settings.php. So I've already gone ahead and done that. And then if I jump over to my tabs, here I've got just the standard website, but then here on this tab, I've got dev dot. So when I'm on the dev dot site, I should see a green bar, but if I'm on the standard one, it should be red, meaning that it's on production. So if we go to extend and search for environment indicator, and let me go ahead and just install environment indicator and the toolbar integration, Straight away, you can see that the toolbar is red because we are on the quote unquote production site. But then if I go to the dev site and refresh, we should see a green. And then if I go into the back end, I should see the actual label of the environment and also which version has been set. Now, most of this has to be configured in settings.php, but using environment indicator makes it very easy to know exactly which site you are on because you do not want to accidentally jump onto production thinking you're on a staging site and do config changes. It's happened to me and I'm sure it's happened to many people. So if you want to learn all about this, then check out our stream, which is Drupal toolbars core to admin toolbar. And as usual, I have added links to all the modules and chapter markers. And also, if you have any questions, please leave a comment.